Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have divided the routes in the feature module also, right? So we have completely did the one of the feature module. So that is nothing but what we can say is user module. So we have divided this user module entire thing and also we have divided the routing also. So that app module doesn't have any relation with the user module. So now what we will try to do is we will try we will try to divide another feature module we will try to divide another two feature modules in this video and we will shift into the next next concept that is shared module concept so the why because so you should be aware of this feature module i hope that you understood the feature module about this one in the previous videos but maybe you will be having if the people are coming from first time if you are seeing this they will be finding a little bit of dif difficult that what is that we are doing in that feature module we have divided a components everything to other other place and how that one is working they will be having some doubt so what i will try to do is so firstly what i will try to do is i will try to divide another two modules i will try to divide another two sections feature module that is auth module and the post module so authenticate thing is also one of the section here in a, that we are having here and another one if you are if you are authenticated you will be having another concept that is that is nothing but what i can say is post thing so post you will be having all the posts so right so showing the posts and clearing the posts, adding posts, and this all one comes under one section. And authenticating, 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 login, sign up, and all these things comes on into another one section. So what I will try to do is I will try to divide this auth thing and also into a separate module and also post into a separate feature module. We will try to see in this video so that you will be having complete doubt. And we will also divide all these things in the coming videos. So parallelly we will divide this one into feature module. Okay. So before continuing to this video, if you are coming first time to here. Please do support me by subscribing to my channel so that I will be posting more and more front end development courses. Now, what I will try to do is so, first we will try to create a module. So, that is first we will try to divide the post module. So, I am, crea I am creating post.module.ts. Okay. So, wherever you want, you can create this file. So, now I will I will complete a little bit faster so that you, I will tell you, I will explain you, but I will complete a little bit faster. So, export class. So, you will be having post module. Okay. So this is the post module and uh, what we will try to do here. So as to become this class as a module, we need to <coughs> add ng module. Okay. So ng module need to be inserted. So here we will be having this ng module. We need to import this ng module from the angular. So let's inject this ang uh, ng module. So okay, ng module and here you will be, ha you'll be having declarations okay so in these declarations what we need to do so the post component if you go to the app module what are the post post for the post section is related so this is the post component right so we can have this post component and we can completely take this one okay so we can completely take this one and we can use it in the post module okay so right now we are having i think we are having only one component in the post component right so no problem just we will give a try to i will try to show the demo demo thing so we don't have so much of modules related just like the user module we don't have so many so many things so post component and here what we will try to do is we will try to add rotor module so as we if we go to the app routing module as we don't have more related more routes related to this one so what i will try to do is so instead of creating uh, directly uh, another file so that is nothing but routing file so i will try to create in that in that same file only so if i go save uh, save this one and if i go to here so what i can do is import is router module okay so router module so it should be imported so dot for chain it should be for chain and here you will be having array and you will be pasting this one so previously what we have did we have maintained this one as a separate file so here we are writing directly so this should be imported auth guard it should be imported auth guard okay so this is the thing and i can remove the supporting files here mm, same thing like oh, where is that post component yeah here is that post component i can remove this supporting import and also in this app routing also i can remove the supporting so that means there is no dependency in the app regarding the component post thing so there is no need to export here also in the post module and also one thing you need to remember that so whenever we are using this uh, post component and all those things you need to remember one thing that we need to import the common module 
okay so you need to import the common module so common module need to be imported so we have imported the common module router module so so far so good this one and we need to import this in in the post module in the here in this import so here after after this user module i can import the post module so post module in the same scenario what i will try to do is i will try to create another one auth module new file auth dot module dot ts okay you will be having this auth dot module dot ts so here i will be writing export class auth module same concept okay so i will be converting this one as read ng module okay so the same concept you will be using ng module and here you will be having declarations and in this declarations what you will be having you will go to the app module and you can copy this auth component i think yeah this is the auth component and we can go to the auth module and we can paste it directly this auth module here so that we need to import the missing items auth component need to be imported here auth component is imported and we can go there and we can remove the uh, uh, imported auth component so here i can remove this imported auth component in the same scenario what we can do is we can go to the routing thing and also we can remove the traces of the this one also so where is this auth component here you have so like this we can divide all these things so that no routes will be present here instead of not found star star and home page if you want you can keep that one this so these things only will be remaining so you can, if you want you can divide it here separate separate modules everything and here in the imports as we have only one route so what i can do is i can, instead of creating a separate file i can write it here router module okay router module dot for child so you need to remember that it should be for child and here it should be an array of routes so previously what we need to do what we have did so we have created these all routes as an array in a separate uh, uh, variable and we have inserted that variable here but here instead of creating a variable we are directly importing and uh, right remember that common module need to be imported automatically so this is common thing you need to remember this one common module so if this routing is using forms module or anything you need to use that one also so this is how we will be dividing and another one what we can do is so after this uh, your post module we need to import this auth module okay auth module need to be imported so we have imported this auth module also let's what we will try to do is let's stop this one okay and let's try to rerun it again so after rerunning it let's see if there is any errors or anything so build is completed so now we got the error that form group post in the post component at html why we are getting this error because of the reactive forms module so we don't have the reactive forms module in the post module so let's import the reactive forms module also here okay so reactive forms module okay so i import i imported the reactive forms module and let it compile it again so we will check that one whether that one is satisfying or not so i imported this reactive forms module it has been successfully built now so what we will try to do is so let's try to check the output so i am logging out okay i am refreshing this one so authenticate we are getting that page not for uh, okay so let's refresh this one again so authenticate we are getting an error so let's try to see inspect element what could be the error so if we check the console okay if we check the console here ng form not found so here also we are getting ng form not found why because in the authenticate we are using template driven form right so we need to import this in the auth module so you need to remember these are the things okay so while developing so this one we will be we will be not having any problem so directly when we are developing with the route and forms module need to be imported sorry forms module need to be imported from the either it angular forms okay so where is that one so one second it should be auto imported from the angular forms okay now we got this one angular forms so this one is successfully we added this one hope i think now the no problems will come and again uh, yeah this one is gone now we have added this forms module right 
so now this one also will build and we can check the output now it is successfully built now we can check the output if we go if it refresh and still we are getting an error so one second let it compile still we are getting error let's try to re uh, stop this one and rerun it again so my system will be having some problem so let rerun this ng serve again okay it has successfully been built i think now we let's execute this code now hopefully yeah now we got the output see so sometimes so if you are getting this type of problem again miss so you restart the uh, command again so test at the rate test.com hopefully this all will work now yeah so successful login so auth module is working and we can go to the post here so post is also working without any problem okay so if i clear the post it will be clearing the post and if i add a post so automatically it is adding the post directly into the our firebase database you need to remember that we have added the firebase database the keys and everything are coming so this is how we have divided the what i can say the post module and the auth module into a separate feature module now if you want what you can do is so here whatever you are having this app routing so categories you can divide into a separate module template form reactive form filter pipes and all those things you can divide into a separate feature modules okay so now the so we can remove these two things also auth guard and there is no need so slowly what it will happen is so if you are dividing like this means there is no need to have these all the imports here okay so here also you will be not able to have these all the imports okay so here uh, so here also the all the imports will be going away only the modules will be remaining so in the next video what we will try to do is we will try to see the shared module for example see if you are using shortened pipe so this should be used in more than one one component so if you want to use that one means how we can use this one so we will see it in the next video the short, uh, shared module so how uh, what is the problem we will get while dividing these feature modules and how, how we can overcome this one using shared module we will see in the next video okay if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you